I want to welcome to the podium Justin Oberman, CEO and co-founder of Till Mobile Corporation, headquartered in California's Silicon Valley. I see Justin from time to time in that area. Welcome, Justin. We're looking forward to your presentation. Thank you. Good morning. We've built a tool to connect brands to smallholder farmers that's so easy to use. All of us in this room are going to get to try it here in a couple of minutes. We think as we look to 2050 and how we're going to feed 9 billion people in an increasingly urbanizing world, we've got to figure out a way to connect brands to smallholder farmers. And that's what we've set out to do at Till. I want to say a special word of thanks to the Chicago Council. I feel like the council's almost incubated. The company came out of our work on the Emerging Leaders Program uh, in 2012. Marshall Bhutan is on our board of advisors. And we're off to, I think, a really strong start particular emphasis right now, at least to begin, in the US, uh, Africa, and India. So let's uh, spend a couple minutes going through this. So these are two growers in California that are using till. Again, you'll get to try it here in a couple of minutes. And this is certainly the best feedback we've gotten in the 18 months we've been at this. Now they're able to communicate directly with a major grocery chain, negotiating quantities and prices via SMS on their phone. And that's what till does. We are connecting brands to growers with an emphasis on SMS and voice, the lowest common denominator, easiest form of mobile to use, does not require Wi-Fi, smartphone, or even an app. We want every grower around the world to spend time farming. Our major focus for these large brands is to identify gaps in their supply chain data, which we are learning are massive and costly, and then use mobile to fill those gaps. And what we're finding as we talk to large companies around the world, grocery chains, PepsiCo, and others, is that these smallholders, which number in the millions, sell up into these large supply chains, are not reachable. And mobile is the best way to get folks. Everybody's got a phone. There are more phones than people, as we all know. And if you make it an easy transaction and make it free, just use voice or text, you can really start to collect and fill these data gaps in a very powerful way. We focus on right now six key areas of information to, again, to, to uh, enable brands to communicate with growers. Price, quantity, quality, safety, sustainability, and a range of issues around worker protection and uh, countering human trafficking. So again, and the report goes into this in, in obviously much greater detail, but these are three of the most crucial things we have to do to feed a rapidly growing urbanizing population. Obviously, yield improvement is at the top of the list. And we've seen examples, I'll get to one in a minute, where when you're able to communicate directly with a grower, basically bring agricultural extension right to an SMS message, you see massive improvements in yield. The corollary to that, of course, is reducing post-harvest loss, where you're seeing massive reductions from what's pulled out of the ground to what actually makes it to the plate. And uh, it's really important to get guidance to growers, information on proper handling, transportation advice, information on weather, and so forth. And then the final piece is moving goods more efficiently. The great thing about a cell phone, even a very basic phone, is that we know where it's located. And so we can help to coordinate drop-offs and pickups, which we're scoping right now in Nigeria. Uh, finally, as you look at the investment landscape, all the money flowing into uh, ag tech, which we're very interested in as we're getting ready to try to close our second round of funding, we think this idea of connecting brands to growers needs to be on the list. The four bullets towards the left is where a lot of funding is flowing, all again focused on growing yields and feeding 9 billion people by 2050. We think this must be part of the solution, again, connecting brands to growers. Uh, I think we're in very good company. Bill Gates, in the beginning of 2015 and again the beginning of this year, specifically called out the value of communicating with growers via SMS. Uh, Dan Glickman did that in the National Geographic about a year ago. That led to his appointment uh, as an unpaid advisor to Till, which we're very proud about, as well as, uh, and then he helped us rope in Secretary Veneman, which we're also proud about. They come very cheap and they're extremely valuable. Uh, and then finally, uh, the World Cocoa Foundation demonstrated great yield improvement with cocoa growers in Africa via SMS. Yield went up over 40%. And we're talking to WCF now about trying to expand on that work. So uh, finally, this is what you saw the growers using on the first slide. 
It's called Till Talk. Again, it enables direct communication with, at this, in this example, a produce manager at a grocery store to negotiate price and quantity all via SMS. That produce manager has a dashboard managing their whole set of perishable inventory. And when you have a smartphone, you can do more, including sharing photos of the product, which is just not done today at all. So finally, right before I wrap up, if everybody will take out their phones, you're going to test till right now. Uh, text the number one to this phone number, 312. We obviously picked a Chicago area code for the council. 313-3796. Again, it's 312-313-3796. And it's going to take you through a short little questionnaire, what a grower would experience. And then there's a link at the end for you to see a dashboard because presumably most people have smartphones. We, yes, 312-313-3796. And uh, text the number one, and that's how you'll get started. So appreciate it very much, and uh, look forward to engaging with you throughout the day. Appreciate it.